Hello everyone. Welcome to this next video installment uh, studying uh, CSS code. So let's begin. So in our last video we were going over the coding uh, for using CSS for manipulating, for manipulating our HTML website. So let's go over that again real quickly. So as you have your uh, CSS file open, when you want to create your uh, code, again, let's go over it. You have your selector, okay, and I highlighted it there. I can make it bigger for those of you that can't see. So this is your selector, and remember, your selector can be one of several um, uh, entities, for lack of a better term. It can be an ID selector that's with a pound and then the name or it can be a class selector and that's with a dot and then the content name okay and then with inside with inside your um, your code you have the declaration okay you have the property or the name of the of the uh, entity that you want to manipulate and then you have the value okay tells you what color what what position uh, things like that okay and then for your declaration like this one right here text align this tells you this controls what side of the uh, website website you want your uh, text to be on it can either be center right or left and then for here you got the property color and then the value is white the color can be whatever color you want it to be alright and then the other thing that we want to go over is comments comments for uh, CSS code is the same whether it's comments for CSS or for HTML it's just a little bit differently for CSS, a comment is when you do a forward slash and then a star and then you type whatever you want in between here and then you do another star or asterisk and then uh, a forward slash again. The, this is a comment, okay? This is ignored by the, the browser okay these are what you want to put in when you want to remember what it was you were doing it's it's like a sticky note I always think of comments as sticky notes it just tells you what the code is before you start or right under it okay you can also use comments to uh, comment out the code okay let's say like this is the code that you put in but you decided that you don't want to use it you can always comment it out and that will be ignored by the computer and the browser okay you can do it like that and everything from here to here will be ignored okay that's a comment okay so the only other thing we need to go over real quickly is you remember where you get your uh, selector from, right? Your selector is usually uh, identified by your div ID from your HTML website or your HTML code. So, as we did in the last example, let's use Home. Okay, Home has several um, uh, selectors or div IDs you can use the words interchangeably I do so content is a selector okay anchor is a selector this is an anchor for your links that's a selector let's see body is a selector okay let's see and image or IMG is a selector and footer is a selector all these are identified by your uh, CSS uh, code. And also, as we went over, let's scroll back up to the top. 
in order for your website to uh, get its information from CSS you need to include this uh, link address right here the only thing that's going to be different is is the name of the CSS you can name your CSS file whatever you want to okay so let's go back over the actual CSS code now that you know how to code um, now that you know how to code in CSS so we have our selector here which is body okay and it's just a regular selector and then inside you have first your property which is for, for right now background color and then you can choose black alright you can choose whatever color you want but for this one I chose black and then for the font fam family that's going to be all of the fonts that are on the website unless you choose something differently we'll go over that in a moment you can choose usually you choose three fonts fonts apologies and the reason why that is is because you don't know which browser your user is going to use so you want to make sure that if they can't see it in Arial they can see it in serif and if they can't see it in serif they should be able to see it in sans serif that way you're covered alright and then you want to decide what uh, text you want your fonts to be so you have the property of color and then you have the value light green it could be red it could be yellow it could be whatever you want and then as we said for margin which is the property and the value for that is zero that means that uh, at the top or I'm sorry at the top at the bottom and on the sides it's all evenly uh, even evened out okay and then as you can see you, I will encourage you to always uh, comment your code that way you'll know what you did and where you started and what you were doing when you did it okay you may know what's going on now and a week from now but I guarantee you six months to a year down the road you may forget what this was and what it what it controls so like I say leave little sticky notes for yourself and that's what this is here this is a comment and this comment just says body background color for the website okay now also I included this code as well okay but as you can see as we did in an earlier example I coded out or I commented out the whole code and that's just with the forward slash asterisk and then with the asterisk forward slash that coded out the same thing if you see once I get rid of this it changes the color and I put it back here see now it's active but just to be on the safe side you don't want to activate both right so you can choose either you can comment this out or you can choose to comment this out okay for now uh, I'm gonna comment this out because that's what I did originally all right and then as we go down further okay we see we have the selector for the anchors which are the links okay we have our comment here this is the comment saying these are for regular links which is our uh, navigation side okay this is referenced by our home page as well and we're talking about regarding lists right so what we did was we went ahead and we chose a color of yellow alright we took out display we did a text de declaration of none that means the links what happened was is that the links came and they had an underline under them so in order to get rid of the underline I put in text dash decoration and then with the value of none I made a position of relative and then to go ahead and uh, make one link next to the other I did an auto left and an auto right and and don't worry we will be showing this in just a moment 
okay and then I did a selector for when you want to hover over the link you want it to be red all right oh I'm sorry not a selector a declaration all right and then from here for the content era area I wanted the text to be centered so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like at the home page okay so as you can see for my links up here in the top left hand corner I got one link next to the other I got I got the uh, I got it to where when you hover over it it turns red okay let's go back you'll see when that hub when you hover over it it turns red okay and right here this means that all of this will be side by side okay and oh I'm sorry let's go back to the body you see the body color is black okay you see the font family and you see most of the um, colors for the text is light green that's this right here and then when we look at our image which is the penguin let's scroll down there let me see oh we're gonna have to skip a little bit there okay as you can see for the image it is centered okay that's what this means that means that it's been centered It's at 25 percent I'll show you what that means in just a moment I'm laughing because I, I really like this watch this for the width I got it 25 percent watch what happens when we make it 75 percent it's gonna stretch out all across the page watch I'm gonna go ahead and save this watch watch the image right here after I refresh the screen okay now we can go ahead and change that back to 25 save the changes go back hit the refresh screen and it's back to normal now let's say you want it over on the left hand side okay so from here you come up to the left side you take out auto and you can go 25 percent save your changes and it'll go over to the left 25 percent there we go now you want it to go back you want it to go over to the right you can manipulate the code again go down here to the right take out auto type in 75 and I'm sorry 75 oops 75 percent so what you want to put in there save your changes come back over here refresh the screen up oh, it moved a little bit let's go back let's move it from 75 to 95 percent let's see if that brings it all the way over Oh, no it didn't okay all right oh uh, let's go ahead and do 75 for the top all right that should move it over there we go okay and you see that's how you can manipulate your content okay I'm gonna change everything back to auto take out the percentage auto and then we just gonna refresh the screen now here's something that you should know um, I you can go ahead and use as we said earlier one CSS document or file to control multiple web pages let me give you a quick example okay so like for the first one the home page 
the text uh, the text is going to be centered right okay so it's centered on the home page right now for the next page about us and this is a good this is a good reason to have uh, comments so that you can keep track of what page or what declaration is controlling what page. So what I did was I created a selector called Content U. The reason why I created it and named it Contact U is because I wanted to associate this information with um, uh, about us. Okay, I hope that's understandable to you. And as you can see, even in the comments, even if you didn't know what this meant, you should be able to understand it by looking at the content or at the uh, comment. It says here, content area on about us page. So if you, we'll look at it in just a moment. As you can see, it says text align to the left and the color is going to be red. That means when we go to the about us page, the information on there for that text is going to be on the left hand side and it's going to uh, the color is going to be red for that text so let's go here and see and there you have it so the content is on the left hand side and it's red okay now as you can see everything else is the same okay and also if we look at the uh, about us page let's go to the about us page it is getting all of its information from the CSS as well because we have that link in there too okay now also we went ahead and we decided to manipulate the content or uh, the contact page okay so we can go over to the contact page oh and I'm sorry you can see I made the div ID for um, about us right here I named the div ID content you and that's what I named it here as my selector in my CSS page all right now if we move down to the contact page we're at the contact page the contact HTML okay don't worry about this you can ignore this this is the same as as it is on all three pages okay now we come down to the next one here and we have div ID content C and that's just to identify the selector with the uh, contact the contact page which is what we did over here in the CSS page I hope I'm not confusing you guys I hope you're staying with me all right as you can see I also have a comment here that says contact area for the contact page okay and as you can see the text align is going to be to the right and the color is going to be gold so if we go to the contact page it should the information should be to the right and the color should be gold and we go to that page and there you can see it the contact information is to the right and the color of the content of the uh, text is gold and as with everything else the image file is the same the image file is the same and the first the, the top of the page is the same and the links are the same all right I hope this is understandable for you guys It's really not that difficult okay and we're going over a little bit but we only got a little bit more to go okay so and then next as we can see the image is still the same okay but we did manipulate the uh, footer okay that's the last thing and again look at my content look at my comment okay even if you didn't know which page this was for you could figure that out from my comment so as you can see in my comment bottom of the website page named footer okay and then you can see my selector is pound footer okay that's the ID and then we made the background yellow 
we made the color dark green okay ignore this I don't even know what that is so let's go ahead and get rid of that and then we made the text align center okay center I'm sorry center and since we did uh, since we didn't um, uh, identify a page you're gonna see this type of uh, information on all three pages so let's go ahead and look at them now since we're on the contact page let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and there you go you can see let's see here the background is yellow the color is dark green and the text is centered okay and that's the way it is on all three pages let's scroll down all right and let's go to the home page and it's the same thing for the home page now as we as we did earlier with the image uh, or the picture here you can manipulate all of this to do anything you want to you can manipulate this to be in the middle you can make, manipulate this to be on one side or the other the same for your image the same for this okay this is very simple um, as I said earlier I will go ahead and leave this information I'll leave a link for this code in the uh, description below um, that should do it for CSS I hope I explained it in a manner that all of you could uh, understand it's really not that difficult you just gotta um, know a few a few commands and where to put everything okay and as you can see I have a, a, a similar file it's not the same file but um, as the one we did for HTML it's got a few more uh, files in it okay you got about us you've got home you got contact you've got the images here you've got the tools that you need and of course you have your CSS okay and so that's it um, I hope this has been um, um, beneficial for you I hope you learned something today I hope I didn't confuse you too much but that's all there is to uh, CSS so thank you very much I appreciate you looking at this video please like and subscribe uh, and you have a good day bye bye